welcome back to my channel. So after having a crazy and somewhat sad week, I really needed to do something that was bright and cheerful and spring-like. So I had an idea that I would try to recreate a bloom with resin that I saw Julie Cuts from Pouring Your Heart Out do. I have tried these kinds of things before, but I either used a piping bag, which was not very successful, or I did the um, petals or loops and drew lines through it. Anyway, I saw Julie do this same kind of thing, but with making half loops kind of with the white. You'll see what I mean. Anyway, it came out beautiful, so I'm hoping I can get uh, something similar to look like a three-dimensional flower. So I'm using the Cast and Craft White Pigment. As you can see, I cut the top off. That was a tip I got after my last video. And uh, I put, oh, well, probably in the end, maybe four to six drops in there. And that's about an ounce of resin that I took out of the eight ounces that I had mixed up. And then I used some Padua white pigment. I decided not to use alcohol ink cause I saw that Julie left the alcohol ink off, out. So hopefully it'll work. And this was still a little too transparent so that I went back and I added more of both whites until I felt that it was a little more toward opaque, not completely. I still wanted a wispy look, but I didn't want it to disappear or completely blend. So I added a little more until I got the white semi-transparency that I wanted. And I also waited a total of about 20 minutes from the time that I finished mixing the resin originally till the time that I finally went in with the white and started doing the uh, half loops, which you'll see. First, um, dropping in multiple drops of alcohol inks. Uh, I've got purple vineyard, then I've got cobalt blue, and then um, another glacier blue, and then uh, Laguna blue, which has more of that aqua green thing. I just wanted multiple shades of blue with the purple in the center, and uh, hopefully it'll bloom the way I want it to. I'm real happy about how the alcohol ink is spreading so far. Not having any trouble there, so I don't have to do any um, mixing around myself with, with a stick. So that's cool. So after I waited about 20 minutes total so that my white would just thicken up a bit, then I started adding the loops, and you'll see what I did. I used my uh, silicone stick, and I wiped it off after each one so that I didn't totally contaminate my white from the start. And you really can't see it great. This is the scary part because it begins to sink and you want it to sink somewhat, but you don't want it to be so heavy that it leaves big blobs. And, uh, but you want it to fan out a little, you want it to become, you know, an outline for the flower and make the petals look 3D. And you really can't know if you were successful till you unmold it and turn it over because the other side is going to be the, the front. So 
this can be very stressful waiting and waiting on this to see if uh, everything you did worked or if it's gonna just look like a, a big hot mess. So I'm using J Diction Resin, two part epoxy, equal parts A and B, you mix together for three to five minutes and you've got about a 40 minute working time, which is wonderful. But like I said, I just waited 20 minutes so that really that the white would thicken up just a little bit and hopefully I left it long enough and not too long. We won't know till the end. Oh, and I want to thank everyone that's already used my affiliate link down below for J Diction and gotten their 10% off discount with my code. I appreciate it because I do get a, a little commission every time somebody goes in through that link and buys something and it's no extra cost to you. I get an email letting me know when people have used the link. So thank you so much. And if you want a discount and would like to try J Diction, go down in my description below. There is the affiliate link right in there that you can click through and get my discount code. And lastly, real quick, I just want to tell you why I had such a sad week. We lost one of our fur babies, Jet. He was a 19 year old cat. He had a lot of health problems. It was no surprise, but he started going downhill on Thursday. So we were basically babying him, taking him to bed with us and, you know, giving him all kinds of love and watching him and make sure he didn't uh, show any signs of being in pain. And uh, basically he just stayed with him. Uh, I didn't sleep a whole lot, that's for sure. And put him uh, in bed between us, my husband and I, and just, uh, you know, really kept him comfortable until he finally passed uh, Monday morning. So it was a rough, week and um, that's why I didn't post anything sooner. I was gonna try to do that um, yin yang over again cause I have to make one for someone and I wanna get it perfected. But after the sadness of the week and then my poor husband had a birthday and we didn't even get to celebrate it because of uh, the cat. Anyway. I just decided I needed to do something colorful and joyful and, and happy. So that's why I decided to do this. And you'll see how I end up framing it, so to speak, in the end. So now I'll shut up and let you all continue to watch and I'll be back at the very end for the demolding.
Okay, so the moment of truth has arrived. Uh, time to demold and see if the other side bloomed like I wanted. I couldn't wait a full 24 hours, so it's still a little bit bendy, but that's okay. No big deal because it's going to go inside uh, a frame, basically, which you'll see when I'm finished. So here goes, I just loosened all around the edges, came out very easily, even though it was, like I said, still a little bit bendy. And uh, hopefully we got a nice bloom. And we did, it's gorgeous. I'm so happy about it. So next step will be deciding what color background works best against that since it is semi-transparent. I want something to make the colors and the white pop. So I will try a couple different things to get an idea before I actually commit. Oh, I want it to be dark, so I use this piece of black material just to see how it looked on top of the black. And then I decided to try some purple material just to get an idea of having the purple behind it. In the end, I decided I wanted a combination of both. So this is a 16 inch round cradle board that I got. And what I'm gonna do is put it on the inside of that after I paint the cradle board, the color that I want for the background, which I mixed up with three different acrylics, black, uh, two color shift paints in purple and blue violet and it gave me a dark blackish purple which is kind of halfway between those two pieces of material that i used behind it because i just felt black was too stark and that purple was way too bright and light so i painted a couple coats let it dry, I only took about an hour for it to be completely dry. And then I continued on from there. So here we go. I mixed up two cups more of resin and used my ultra fine glitter, a little bit of blue rain, a little bit of mint, and I mean, just a dash is all you need. And it doesn't matter if it completely comes up to the edge of the cradle board. I just wanna make sure that it completely envelops the flower bloom and just, you know, gives a nice top coat. And at the end, I will show you a photo of it completely cured. But I want to thank everyone who's still sticking with me and watching to the end. Thank you for being here. And if you are new to my channel, I hope you will subscribe. Click the bell for future notifications, and then you'll know every time I post a new video. I do acrylic painting and pouring and resin art, both epoxy and UV resin and mixed media. So till next time, everyone, please stay safe, be kind, and have a great day.